four. Watch out, <laughs> you're gonna get hit by a golf ball. Hey, <laughs> Foxman here, aka Michael Fox. Mouth. Uh, look at this. This may be not the best view, but I, uh, I'd say I'm 90% done with the golf course. Let me zoom out a little bit here. It's uh, coming along fairly well. Um, the last time you guys saw it, well, that would have been last episode. Uh, I, I had only placed a few of the holes on this half, and um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to tell you how many hours I spent finishing it. Even just putting the rest of the holes, and then placing each tree, each tree, each tree. Each tree individually, um, uh, and I shouldn't even say like individually, like strategically individually, um, because you're seeing a lot of different colors here, and I tried to balance it, uh, almost so it's like a bit of a gradient, so there's the most green, and then there's like a fair amount of yellow. Not too, you know, not uh, not quite as much as green, but it's close. And the green is more of a drawing color too, like green and white and reds, like draw your eye more. Or yellow, did I say green? Like yellows and yeah, yellows and whites and reds, they draw your eye more than green. So it might seem like there's more than there really are. I mean, there's a fair bit of greens, and then a few orange and a few red, and uh, we've got a nice kind of autumn time golf course I probably could have done less green but also you have to think about it different species of trees um, their leaves start to die off sooner than others um, so some of these green ones they're a little different and as well we've got some coniferous you'll see some of these uh, coniferous trees kind of lined up along the golf courses these ones are actually it's funny, I downloaded a couple custom coniferous tree assets, and as soon as I did that, they popped up on this golf course, so they they were actually a part of this other asset, funnily enough. So I can't I can't remove these. Not that I necessarily want to, but I don't have control over that. Um these yellow and red and orange trees are, it's a, um, a pin oak. I don't know, there's a pin oak. I think there's a, there's a chinka, chinka pin oak. Is a, is a species of tree. This is just labeled as a pin oak. So there's, there's the three variations. is the yellow, red, and orange. Which I thought was quite nice. And then I put some willow trees. That's another custom asset and I, I kind of like those a little more for the interior because they they have nice weepy little branches and leaves uh, good shade trees and stuff like that good texture good interesting form so you'll see I kind of peppered them more amongst the bunkers and stuff of a lot of these these holes and uh, yeah so i i think i intend in the future to add more trees on the holes themselves what i did to start was just kind of line them with trees um from there but basically anywhere that isn't the you know the fairway so that you've got this kind of slightly brighter green here without the cross um pattern you know from the from the lawnmower this is mostly fair game to uh, to put trees on here from a golf perspective you know um but definitely not on the green itself even having this willow kind of hanging over the green is a bit of a no-no perhaps but that's uh yeah that's i i really like this and again it's a very difficult course because this is uh well this is the first hole so you can see it, it goes uphill quite a bit. Maybe we should take a tour. This is the first hole. This is the second hole. You know, this is a nice little par three. And then if we zoom out a bit, this guy here. 
And you can see the pathways. It's probably hard to see the pathways. I'll show you guys again at nighttime because the pathways are all lit up. So you can kind of see light seeping through the, the canopy, the tree canopy a little bit. And it's quite romantic, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, all, all the pathways I strategically placed so that you can get from one hole to the next. And then back to the start. So, you know, they're hiding underneath these trees, this tree canopy. But they're there and they're, there's a purpose. So then we get to the third hole. This is probably a par five here. The third hole is uh, is quite quite long. Um, as you can see, it's a dog leg right. You can see a little clipping there on the asset. That happens sometimes. That's just to show you, like, it's actually three assets that are stitched together with another mod. We go three, and then you can see the pathway. We go right around here, and we come back. Another little par three. This is hole four. And then... Where do we go? And then the path actually comes down here. This is the nice par five right along the edge. And I tried... I, I tried not to put trees along these edges. You can see I did the same thing with the, the par four here. Just so people have a nice view of the water. I didn't want to obstruct it with too many trees. So anyways, this is a dog leg left on the on the, the fifth hole and then the sixth the sixth is there and then the seventh is is uh right that's this big mamma jamma another very large hole it's hard to fit in there you can see and then there's the pathway and then it actually comes back here let's follow the pathway and oh yeah then we go down here it's kind of sneaky it's kind of a little tricky you'd think this is the eighth hole here it's not this is the eighth hole another par three and then we're coming back down and then this is the beginning of the ninth hole so it's all downhill this is a nice ninth hill ninth hole and from there, you could go over to the clubhouse, which is an asset I still need to find to put in. I'm going to put it over here somewhere. And then we begin the 10th hole, which is this guy right here. Here's the 10th hole. And then back up again. This is the 11th hole. And 12th hole right here. And then 13th is right here coming up and I like this one a lot too because it's got the mountain on the one side and then you know trees here and then you're overlooking the water at like pretty much the highest point 13th hole is something special or is this the 14th I don't know 13 14th and then oh it's getting late now too so you're gonna see this this is the next yeah this is the f 14th or 15th and then you got this nice elevated pathway just along the edge here. I thought that was really nice. Look at look at the sunset. You can see. And then, oh yeah, that's right. This is the 16th. Which goes like so. And then we come over here. We do the 17th, which is again pointing and going over to the water. And then this is what I call the green mile. So we got a long drive back to the 18th hole, the final hole. So let's, you can see the the pathways are all lit up now, eh? So we go down here. And then we go, I gotta remember. Actually, this one is so dense that I can't even see which way we go. Oh yeah, we go we go this way, I think. We go along here, and then we come down here. And then we go here. And then this is the beginning of the 18th hole. Another downhill one, but it's not easy because... Downhill, you can overshoot pretty easily. If you're like, oh, it's, you know, it's... it's like, let's pretend we're playing this hole, okay? I'm a golfer, I'm teeing off here. To this bend, probably what... You know, 200 yards, 180 yards, something like that. You're like, well, normally I would hit 
I don't know, my three wood or something. Not downhill though, because you're gonna go right into those trees, man. So you gotta, you gotta club, you gotta club up. Club up, like, to a higher number. Higher number means you're gonna hit it not as far. So you might even want to get your five iron out. Maybe get a hybrid, that's okay. Lay up right around here. You want to be on the fairway. And then you get a better view here. Again, it's still downhill. And then, boom, right on the green. And then that's the that's the 18th right there. Beautiful. And then we're back at the clubhouse here. Go to your car. Change your shoes, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Do what you want and get the hell off my golf island. Look at that. She's a beauty. And at least for now, I have this, um... This, uh, this turbine to power the water pump because I need that for the golf course. And that's that. That's pretty cool, eh? And then I, I just quickly, um, while I was doing stuff, I know I should have done this on camera, but I, I put in a couple roads here because I kind of thought it'd be cool to have a nice little golf resort, sort of, not resort, but like, uh, what do you call it? Golf. The, the the homes near the golf course. Golf community. Whatever. Um, Because they all have a nice view of the of downtown there. The quick access to the golf course. And they're on a freaking beach area here. So I'm going to try and make this look pretty decent. But not today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that later. But then yeah, you got this nice little bridge to drive towards the city on. Isn't that nice? Yeah, baby. I dig it. I dig it, eh? So we're going to be doing a lot of cleanup with this other stuff, but I still want to continue with development over here. All right. So let me get that going. And look at while I was showing you the golf course I made, I made back a bunch of money that I spent on that golf course. A fair bit of terraforming. Terraforming is not cheap. It's not cheap. Um, you want police? Did I not put police in? Oh, no. I don't know if you can see that pop-up. Freaking Uplay, man. I hate Uplay. But I like Rainbow Six Siege. That's bad. So that's the police station. So I don't know why you're complaining about um, the crime rate over here. Uh, it's 9%. That's really not high. Unless it's high. Oopsies, I did not mean to hit that. Unless it's higher in this area. And there's a death there. Um, excuse me, cops. Police cars in use, 10 out of 10. Criminals in holding cell. The only thing I can think of is maybe a lot of these cop cars are actually driving over here. Um, I should really make these their own districts, though, but I don't know what's with the deaths. Let's take a look here. Did I not? Yeah, I've got this guy in. Again, these vehicles could be traveling to the main city, so that's might be why there's a three deaths. Or it's nighttime and they just don't want to do their job. All right, well, there is no, there's a cop there. Alright, come over here, cop. This guy? What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Come take care of this shit. He's patrolling. 0% load. Well, what kind of man are you if you got 0% load? Alright, here... You're come. Oh, that's it's a little too late. It's a little too late. I don't know. These people, they, they got the high land value, high education, all that crap. Maybe they're just, uh complaining because they have nothing else to complain about. They're like, well, <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst if I saw a cop around here every once in a while. Oh, there's a lot of dead people. Is this just the population is aging? I don't know. So I'm going to fast forward it a bit until it's daytime. And then we're going to get started on kind of road infrastructure down here. And I'm going to slowly implement some uh, development and such in here. I don't want to do it all at once because then you're just like stressing the system too much. All right. That's good. That's good. A little. I want this. I want it to be high noon. 
trailer park boys. I don't know. I feel these people would be really pissed off if I put a trailer park down there. Looking over a trailer park. Alright, this is good enough. This is good enough. Um, so... One thing I want to do, I, I want to try to... Maximize the land usage here as much as I can. And, uh... You know, I don't want too too zany of a road structure, but I want it to be interesting. It doesn't have to be pure pure grid like. Uh, I will be modifying this area a bit more. I think I gotta I really gotta figure out this. This was just a temporary solution for the incineration plant. I would like to put that someplace a little more secluded, perhaps at some point. But I'm I'm not too sure yet. Not too sure. I might even put it like down here or maybe actually mm, I don't really want it here either because it would ruin it if you think if you're driving you're coming across this nice bridge and you're coming across this nice area this nice city I gotta get rid of this road and then you're driving towards the water and then you're like oh look at the incineration plant and then it's like all right let's turn back around you don't want to do that you want to keep coming this way because this is gonna be a magical magical area anyways what I am going to do is try to build some road. Hmm. Yeah, let me see here. Let's see how close I can build a four lane road to this edge. And then I think I'm going to try to dip it down a little bit. So... That works. So I should be able to get a fair bit closer than that. Let's just try this now. Okay, that doesn't work actually. What about... If I go back like two spaces that might be decent enough there let's slope too steep my ass okay go back to the road that little bit there I can fix that I think no I really don't want to I don't want to terraform Maybe I should just do it as is. Let me try this. Try it from there. Space already occupied. What are you talking about, man? Alright, I think that's going to do. Uh, I will fix this tiny little area, though, there. Though, there. There, though. There, though. Um, in a minute. And then I want it to kind of... Let's go a little more. Let's bring it down. Um, actually, let's just start like this. Maybe like so. Where's 135? Close enough. That's not going to work. That's just going to be... It's close. Again, I'm going to fix that tiny little bit there. Uh, and then we should be able to curve this guy. I don't quite want 90 degrees. Okay, that... You know what? Let's try that. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. Perhaps? I just want to be able to build full-size buildings along here. So... Here's the deal. Let's select this as our height. Bring this guy out. It'll just make it more like cliff-like, which is fine too, actually. I kind of like cliffs. Rather than gradual hills. Every, you know, nobody's ever looked at a mountain and been like, oh, look at that gradual mountain. People are just like, oh, hey, heck yeah, man. Look at the peak of that mountain. It's so steep. Majestic. You know, they get inspiration. Nobody got inspiration from a hill. Well, maybe the Wright brothers, but, you know, it was a steep hill, man. It was a steep hill. Okay. I can, you know, make that look better later. So now if we go back to this. We actually, it's weird. It won't update until we, like, get rid of the road and then replace it. But that's okay. Get rid of this guy and we'll finish. Finish this here. Finish the fight. Um, I'm just going to leave this little dip right there. That's, that's kind of interesting. Nice little interesting unique space. Unique little flower. Uh, I do like... I went like this, didn't I? There you go. Look at that. Full. Full marks. 10. I give it a 10. A fucking 10. Okay. Kind of want it. This just seems weird, though. Kind of. Mm. Mm. You know what? I'm okay with it. I can live with it. And then let's come back over here. Let's finish framing this. Although, I want to fix that little dip there, too. Dude. Sure, we'll do we'll do the similar thing right here. More cliff like. How much money do I have left? Hundred thousand that's the problem uh, I have with terraforming. You lose a lot of money very quickly, and if you're not paying attention, which I seldom do, then you lose the money. See, we just I just spent like eleven thousand dollars right there. Wanted to be just straight there. Okay, and let's see how far to go over here. Uh, fix some of these areas. A little steep. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just finish it right there. Perfect. Um. It's okay, that's okay. So it's just this area now. Dun 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 dun. There you go. 64,000. 60 freaking 4,000 bucks. Just like that. Gosh darn it. Okay, wait. Now let's try this. Nope. Oh, there's a major dip. There's a major dip. Give me some chips for that dip. Uh, sugar. Let's bring it up. Hope that did the trick. Alright. That's good. That's good enough. We're maximizing the things we can build in this space while kind of keeping the nice rough edges 
you know, em uh, emphasizing them a little bit with these little cliffs. I wouldn't want to be the guy building right here, to be honest, but the game thinks it's okay. And so do I. Um, now, I'm not actually going to use this die to connect up here, because this is going to be a fairly busy... Um, junction intersection for anything we connect here because like a lot of people are going to be coming from this part of the city or from out of the city coming through here so i really don't want a crazy intersection going on right here so i'm going to do more like minor streets to two lane roads and such so let's get that business i don't need that there um Okay, let's get started. Do I want to put one there? Kind of. Although... The thing that's bothering me... A little bit. And let me fix this. Wrong road. I'm gonna just bring this out a little tiny bit. And hope it makes this curve a little bit better. I like it a little bit. It's almost like a hook. Captain hook. And I know this is not going to be a 90 degree intersection. Or I don't think it will be. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to put it back here. I don't want to put it there. It's too close to the bend. Let's create some interesting spaces. That... It's too interesting. 45. What does that look like? I think that's too steep. I might put some special buildings here. I don't like how the grid handles that, but I kind of like this little kink. Although I don't think the kink is short enough, or long enough. Let's try that. It's a bit better. I don't know why, I just kind of like that. I think watching traffic and stuff kind of a gentle edge there. It's going to be fun. Uh, okay. Now, I need to get some of the in-between here. I should have thought about that. Uh, let's just start. Put this guy here for now. There we go. Like that, and then what I'll do for the rest is... Right along here. I don't know if this is going to work. Ah, shoot. Space already occupied by what? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Remove it again. And I'm going to move this guy over just, just a bit. Uh, 
And then, uh... There we go. So that works, and then I can do... This guy starting here. That's good. Let me delete you. And reconnect you. There. That's a little more gentle. Before it was kind of like a straight edge and then it got curvy. That's just, that's more natural all around. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Back to these little turkeys. One at a time. And I don't want to have many connections along here because, again, I feel like this is going to be the busier kind of central central road in this area. Um, so that's why I'm kind of having these connections down here. Um, although, do I want to continue that pattern here? Kind of. And I might... Might put this one here though. We'll see how traffic does. I can always remove it later. Um, this is like not ideal. Because it's going to give us four blocks plus two instead of four plus four. I don't, I, yeah, I really don't like that. So let's just keep going with tradition. Uh, this one, shoot. I could pull this back. I can't really push it forward anymore. Uh, although I'll keep it because I can put like a unique space or a unique building perhaps here. Or somewhere to help take up the space we're just a nice little dense little tiny park man-made park amongst the square of buildings just a bunch of trees basically that could be good it could be fun all right let's find the snap point in here there you go Um, I kind of don't necessarily want to bring this road all the way around. I'm not too sure yet. Hmm. Okay, this is not going to connect there. Just connect these two. Wait, was that 90 degrees? It better have been 90 degrees or I am going to... That was 88.6. Are you shitting me? Why was it why is it 88.6 and not 90? This is Oh, it's because of this. I see how it is. Well, what if I just Hmm. Would that be too busy? I'm trying to make interesting space, spaces. But this 88.6 malarkey is really getting... Getting on me. This guy I'll do... And you know what? I'm actually going to do a bit of terraforming here. I said I know I said I wouldn't, but just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice. Um 
Yeah, see, I don't... Whoa, that would be a little wild. You know what? We can actually just leave this. It doesn't have to connect up. What if I did this? That just looks unfinished, though. Looks unfinished. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. These guys, however, I feel like I can kind of, you know, the dead ends. Although that could be havoc on this intersection. Should I connect them here? Sure. Why not? And then all these little spaces where there won't be buildings, we'll put we'll put some trees and stuff. That's okay. That's interesting. Uh, I'll do more stuff around here. I kind of think like this will be more. This will definitely be more city like, dense down here, and then uh, we can maybe have a few, like a small, low density residential like maybe around here. And some special buildings, you know, like convention centers or you know stadium is something big around here this is a good spot to kind of have that it's not right downtown but it's right close to it it's a good space to put that maybe or we can just put more city more city might be okay so i'm going to quickly put in the pipelines before i forget water pipelines we're down to twenty four thousand. all right that's actually a good stopping point for these roads my city makes money back pretty quickly, but it still needs some time to do it. Alright, so I'm just going to future-proof that. And... Like, uh... Actually, you know what? I'll just go like this. Doesn't quite get this stuff down there. That guy doesn't quite get covered, so let's just bring this dude out. Uh, we'll go like that, and this guy should cover. There we go. And one more. Oh, actually, that was perfect. It was right on the edge. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's some good coverage. Uh, and I just need to connect it up here now. Actually, here's how I'll do it. Descent. All right, so I need a lot of office and commercial, well, not necessarily office, industrial, but I think that a good chunk of that is going to be like for office because we have a fairly educated population. Um, so I'm just trying to think of... Good office area, good living area, if we're to kind of not segregate it, but just kind of have a little more focused area for office. It's an interesting area here. Good for commercial or residential. I don't want to give too much like waterfront, you know, cliff edge property to office space. But mm, 
Let me think. This could be like a commercial street here. Or at least along the inner edge. Do some nice residential stuff in here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to have to connect power in a minute, which I will do. I still have to think as if I really want to build stuff right on this edge. I know I made a big fuss about making it so that they could, but that's more of just future-proofing and stuff. Because once I start plunking buildings and stuff in here, I really don't want to move roads around too much. Um, one, two, three, four... Let's just start like that. And for residential. Actually, I might make this all here office. Kind of like an office park and then commercial along there. And then we'll do some residential in these areas. And then maybe some more. This could be a good office area right there actually too. Sure. And then, uh, we'll fill this in. We'll start over here and work our way back. Okay, so let me just make sure, power-wise, uh, how much? 15,000? Wait, how much does this cost? 12,000? Alright. I'm gonna sneak another one of these in here. And I'll just connect... You built right there, so I should be able to put something kind of like there, I think. And then just hook it up. I'll move this. Once we have development and stuff over here, uh, I can probably make this a lot shorter. Or who knows, it might even bridge at some point. Alright, now let's actually freaking play. Uh, let's put it on two times. I'm going to take a sip of my drink if you don't mind. Alright, commercial development, I mean, there's no doubt that that was going to kick off. You can see we also got some of the industrial area, or the office is uh, going in, which is good. Like I said, I don't like how they do this. Um, they mix, the industry is orange, and that could either be kind of this manufacturing industry, oh sugar, um, or it can be office industry, but you can't really to m tell the demand from this. I wish they had split it up. There's n nothing wrong with that. Look at, they've got all the space in here to have more of these indicators. Um, you know, I'd even like it if they had a di diff split up the the uh, uh, what's it called? Residential, you know, low density, high density, commercial, low and high. Um, and I almost feel like they should have a separate zoning for institutional things. Not necessarily schools themselves. You can still place the schools, but just, I don't know, institutional stuff. Or governmental. You know, you got a lot of government buildings and u utilitarian buildings and or utility utilities buildings and stuff. So, I don't know. Um... Okay, so this is definitely, you can see our, our industrial demand was largely uh, office space. But I feel like a lot of people are going to be coming from over here. Because the demand certainly isn't coming from the small population here. Uh, I'm still concerned about the number of dead people. <laughs> this house has been having a lot of problems. And I'm not too sure why. So what I'm going to do is put another these one of these guys and I'm going to put them... I'm gonna sneak them somewhere in here. Actually, I don't. This is an important junction. I don't really want to put a crematorium right there. I kind of thought about it because it'd be cl close access to both both ends of this this city. It does make people happy. What if I just put it right there? Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait, one, two, three, four. You know what? Let's just put it right on the corner here. It's going to make these guys happier. Um, get more horses on the road. They can come over here. Oh, it looks like this guy is taking care of this dude. A lot of people die in that house. Maybe it's cursed or something. Maybe Dexter Morgan lives there. So these guys definitely want workers. So you're going to see our residential demand going up a fair bit. Um, so you know what, let's actually sneak this in here. There we go. I really hope you can't see these Uplay notifications. I apologize if you do. That kind of stuff really bothers me when I make content, but if I stop this right now, Fraps might have a knip shit and that would not be cool all right it's getting some more houses you can see these guys uh, don't quite need workers well some two of them do but um, it's less than it was a moment ago this office as well uh, I feel like I can safely do this too I should be sneaking parks and stuff in here um, as well, I put like a smaller, uh, hospital, medical center, and police station, but I'm gonna put a police headquarters, and like, uh, a big hospital, and all that shit, um, down in this area. Oh, look at all these cars coming in. I might take these lights away here. Or this, I have priority. I don't want people having to stop right here. I want them to keep moving through, and then anybody coming here will have, like, a, a stop. Slash yield. So they can just go whenever. Whenever they can squeeze in. Actually, let's try and do that right now, if we can. Uh... Turning that off there. Okay. I almost want to make this a one way going this way too. Just this connection right here. Or do I want to do it the other way around? Uh, okay, so, well. Oh, wait. Switch traffic lights, like this. Manual traffic lights. Here we go. Um, I've never actually used this one. Aw, oh, this is cool, though. Look it. It's got the counter. To right. I don't want to do that though. What I want is a. Okay. That one's fine. This one is yield. Or do I do stop? And. I wish I could put. Why can't I just put a light here? Manual. Lanes. Left. I guess they could do left. Or what if I made it so to do left you have to come to one of these guys. No, I think, I think having this... I don't see the stop, the actual stop sign. It doesn't matter. I don't need to see it. It's there. He's stopping. Change lanes. So this guy can go left or right. I could make it so they can't go left or right. No. 
Move crosswalk. Oh, so the crosswalk there. No. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, this is cool. Uh, maybe I'll make it so these guys can't turn left here. I don't really want that. I want them to, like, they can turn left here, perhaps. So, there we go. You cannot turn left. Wait. Yeah, you can't turn. Oh, sorry. It was this guy. Nice. Cool beans. See, these guys aren't really having to stop here. We're just going through. All right. Uh, we got some deaths. Again, I don't know why people are dying. Like, I hope it's not something I'm doing somehow. Uh, commercial demand is still pretty high. I'm going to put some commercial on this street as well. We got a little office area here, but, uh, some commercial would be nice. Actually, let me try something here. And then I can get rid of this little doohickey. Okay, now... Commercial definitely... Along here. And I know they say to have, you know, the uh, office is a good buffer, a noise buffer between... Uh, uh, commercial and residential, but I'm not going to apply that in a lot of cases because I don't want to. I really wish this game had mixed use uh, so that you had a different zoning and you had, you know, tweaking. You could tweak it just like with Traffic Manager. You could say the first two floors are commercial and the rest are residential. The rest are office or whatever the hell you you wanted. I don't think you'd want to put the first couple floors as residential and then the stuff on top of that would be like commercial or even office, but choice. Choice is king. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the same here as well. There we go. I don't know, they still want a lot of office. See, I guess, you know what, actually we will put a little bit of a buffer. We'll go right here. More office. But these guys, these residential in here, they're shit out of luck. I have not put any parks or anything in here. Let's find a space for the... Hmm, police... Headquarters. Oh, I got to do a prison. I haven't done a prison yet. Where should we put a prison? I should get a prison somewhere. Crime rate is down to 7%. It's about to get lower. Oh, yes. Now. I could put this in any number of areas. I kind of want to put it on this end. I don't want to put it too close to here because there's this police station. And here it would have a nice uh, bit of access to either of these m major avenues and as well this one if we extend this and it wouldn't be too far from here. Maybe I'll put it right in between right here. That's a good spot, eh? You need power? You need power, big man? Oh, you got power. Here we go. So that should make some people pretty happy. Uh, schools, I definitely need to get those in. Elementary, high school, university. Well, we're almost at uh, 2,000 eligible for university. Uh, this I'm not doing for capacity so much as just like making them happier. Let me see here. 
this will work. That, actually, and maybe I'll try and... S oh, I can't see... Oh, this guy's wider. F this guy. Or he's deeper. Real deep. Go like that. No, I want him like this. He'll make these guys real happy when they're there. You can count on that. Why are you still red? Maybe it's the university? Hmm. Alright, well, people are upgrading, so I guess I'm doing something right. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, look at this octopus. There's another octopus. Oh, they're competitors? Or are they part of the same chain? I haven't even thought about public transit yet, but you know... Shoot. I should do public transit. And I should get that in now. And you know where a good spot to put that is? Right here at the in the intersection. And then I can put development on either side. Because so I don't want to put the, the subway stops here. I mean, it's going to make these guys go away. And I definitely want to have um, a bit of a subway that's going to start up here at least. Kind of. It's, it's, it's going to be independent of this subway. This subway will not connect up. Actually, I... Realistically, I shouldn't even have this subway going all the way north up here necessarily to the residential, but You know I do uh, I really like the idea of more people coming by commuter train So let's try and put one of those in soon. Actually, I'm gonna save the commuter train That'll be next episode because it's gonna take a little little uh, Work connecting everything and getting it situated just right. This looks like a freaking animal That's a head I think a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a giant lamb. This is friggin' this makes Cl Clifford the Big Red Dog look like Clifford the Big Red Bitch. <laughs> this is huge. Um, but let me see here. Actually, where's the the metro, as they call it? Call it friendo. Yeah. See, this is a great spot to put them. Put one there. Two. And then maybe one right here. Or is that too far apart? No, I don't think that's too far apart. People can walk. How much do these things cost? 15000 Yeah, my memory is good. Um, we can put one right at the end here. Actually, right next to, uh, to our friend. Yeah, let's put it right next. And then, let's actually put one right, like, in this junction. Uh, I want to fix these, these power lines are kind of in the way still. Uh, if this will work. That don't work. Why don't it work? What about here? Actually, you know what? Let's just go like this. There we go. There. So now this isn't in the way of my development. Again, this is ugly, but it'll go away soon enough. Soon enough! Uh, we go back. Now, which side do I put it on? Left or right? Nah, let's put it right here. Right on the freaking corner. Well, it's not necessarily... Yeah, let's put it on the corner. You don't have, yeah, you have power. Alright. Do I need many more? Uh, I would like one at the end over here somewhere. Or maybe I'll put it kind of more central. Where's a good spot? I don't want 
not take up that building spot space too much. Let's just put it there. Uh, fiddlesticks. Shoot. I didn't think about the, the power. There you go. I just don't want to see that icon. Um, there's still so much demand for commercial. It's ludicrous. All right, well, let's uh, let's get some going on here. <gasps> shoot, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, we can do more here. Like, I do, I do want to do some here. But I really like the idea of, like, driving and seeing the cliffs. Yeah, screw that. And they want more office. So let's just do this as well. 65,000. I suppose we can connect these guys to start. I'm going to have to think of a good spot to put the station. Look at all the traffic coming through here, though. This, I don't quite understand at all. Why is it, why are they just like stopping? Is there like a stoplight in there? Let me try something. I don't know if. Uh, I can't probably do that underground. That sucks a lot. Uh, I'll figure that out later. I mean, it's weird. <laughs> that they're stopping like that. At least it's not reaching too far back yet. And these guys are stopping too. Yeah, there's no reason. It's It must be a, a stoplight. Okay. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Next episode. Look at the, actually. Let's watch. Let's watch the traffic here. All right, that's a little sloppy. I wonder what it would look like if I change it to yield. It's not much different than the stop sign. I'll keep it a, a, a yield. No, I really it really should be stop. It's not different, but it'll bother me technically because this should always be a stop sign if there's a left turn. If they're only turning right, we could do it as a yield, but I'm allowing them to turn left and right. So, all right. How's the police station doing over here? Criminals in holding cell. 2 out of 60. 23 out of 25 cars in use. What is our crime rate at now? Still at 7. Alright. But that's not bad. That's not a bad number. Uh, Yes. Connect. Freaking connect you ding dong. Here you go. Uh, oh, I'm going to curve it. Should be 17 units. 91 degrees. Not ideal. Let's try 18 then. Eh, doesn't make much difference. There we go. Um... This guy can be straight for a little while. We'll go there. Ish. One more. And then we'll curve it. Try 
16. 19. 20. No, too much. 17 or 18, I think, will be the closest. No. Oh, shit. 18 is too much. Ah, oh, frick. Oh. You play notifications. Fudge off. Freaking hate you. Ah, oh, you play. You suck so much. Ah. Oh. Yes, I could turn them off. Oh, that would require a little bit of work, which I cannot do right now. They're 180. That's fine. And then this guy. Oh, this is going to be a crazy curve. Uh, probably better if we connect it like this. Hmm, I guess that works. And how much money? I got enough money to put a subway up here. Don't want to be looking underground while I do it, but they're not leaving me any choice. Uh, maybe I'll do two, actually. I'll do one right here on this corner. And then I could put something... Hmm. Maybe I'll just stick with the one. For starters. It's going to be a long ride. No, wrong thing. Okay, keep it straight. Go down to like... Actually. Twenty-four. That's 180. And let's try eight. 170. We might need a little more. Nine. Ten. A bit too much. Nine is fine. That's nice. Oh, it kind of looks like a penis and balls now. <laughs> oh, that's like the biggest prank joke of all time. Some dude on the master plan that's going to be, you know, used uh, for the city for like the next 50 years for the infrastructure. He worked a penis and balls in there and people didn't even realize. And then they built it and it's like, well, <laughs> we can't change this now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This is like the 20th time this person's playing Siege. You gotta make up your mind. These almost look like glasses spectacles. Okay. So I'm I'm in awe that the, just the commercial need is still so high. It could, could that just be like, they want more down here? Possibly, but the thing is like, these guys look like they're doing well. They're happy. They're going to upgrade soon. Uh, let's do... How much does this cost? 65000 So I can just afford it. Do I want to do the same situation? You know, there's a police headquarters down there. Maybe I'll put the hospital... Oh, there's a fire. Oh, shit. Let's see if this fire department can get down there. Let's wait for them. I'm timing you. It's a little bit out of control. Alright, here they come. That's not too bad. But is it, is it good enough? The police are just watching. The police are the ones who did it. Murderers. Uh, I actually have to set a route. Before I do the hospital, let's set a route for the metro. <laughs> We've been, spent all this time building infrastructure. Like, yeah, no, we're, not, we're not actually going to use it. We just want to know that it's there. And then we come back. Uh, 
And that makes a lot of people happy. And you can hear all them dings of people upgrading. Look at that. People love being on the transit corridor. It's not like some secret mystery. Uh, people generally like subways and bus lines and all this stuff. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, dang. We in the money now. We in the money. <laughs> Show me the money. I guess we can do a little more commercial right along here. Four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and then I can do just this now, and then get rid of this guy, and finish this off. Nothing too exciting yet, but we need to we need to make a nice base, a nice foundation. This truck there is kind of blocking. Uh, some parks would be nice. I'm just going to finish these guys off, too. Just to finish that off. Um, parks would be nice. But the hospital. Yeah, I was thinking of having it almost somewhere in here. Or maybe even right up here. Or do I... Side by side is so boring. Maybe this is an interesting area. Or even here, man. Look at that. What about that? Or I might be able to squeeze it in there. No, that's like too good. What about there? There, I built it on a freaking mountain. Did look at the reach. It made all them people so happy. Oh shit. Uh Oh come on. There. There we go. Still hearing a lot of dings. Who's dinging? It's the high school. High density commercial is probably going to upgrade this guy. Yep. He's leveling. Level up. Now, something I'm going to want to explore in the future is terminating vistas. What are terminating vistas, you ask? It's where, you know, you've got like... Think like a, a path, a tunnel, a view. What's at the end of the view? So you think of these big grand avenues that are pretty straight. Keep going along. What's at the end? Well, here our terminating vista is currently this natural little mountain. Is that what we want? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe right around here we want to have a nice landmark building. That might not be too bad of an idea either because... You know, you got people coming in here, driving through. It's kind of a spectacle for them. And it's also a terminating vista when you come back this way. Um, so that's kind of, what, uh, kind of what you want to think about when you're placing these things. Um, and now, I purposely put this guy in between because I didn't want the police station to be the terminating vista here. You know? Uh, I either want them to be able to see this stuff or I want to have a building that's a little more remarkable so that's why I put it in between um, but again same thing for this here you know when they're coming down this way well eventually the terminating vista will be there'll be buildings and stuff around here so um, just something to consider something to consider
for myself and for yourself. Look at this. Home of the Stuff Store. These are pretty nice looking uh, commercial buildings. It's not even fully upgraded. It kind of looks pretty ritzy though. Pretty ritzy if I do say so myself. Hmm. Well. Like, they're just friggin' commercial crazy. I don't know what to do, man. You know what? Let's actually... Wait. Power line is driving me crazy. Let's start putting some commercial along here. I just want to see how this is going to look. Put this guy... This, I'm not putting anything there. I don't know if anything could actually fit there. It's just two squares. There we go. Look at the prime view. The water the industry. But the industry from this far back doesn't look so bad. I don't know. Something's happening. What are you complaining about? Not enough buyers for products. Are you actually kidding me, man? I've been building a lot of commercial. Maybe they just need more sh ships to take it away. Guys playing a dangerous game around those wind turbines. All right. You should be up upgrade faster. Eight thousand. Let's speed it up. Uh, let me look at this. Is the garbage truck? Oh, that's another thing. Uh, I might need to put a garbage uh, depot something around that area too. I don't know if just this one up here will suffice. I could always add another one there, but I don't want them getting stuck in traffic. But look, at there's a lot of traffic coming through here to get down here. Um, so I am almost thinking at some point I might want to do a bypass. So what I could do is uh, have an underground tunnel that actually comes kind of down through here underneath all this city and then connects somewhere right around here. And that should get a lot of this traffic out of here that is literally just moving through. And you can see a good chunk of it is. Um, and we don't have a lot developed here yet. So, there's only going to be more and more traffic coming through here. So, you know what? I'm going to do that before I forget about it. Let's see. The bypass. I could probably... Let me think here. Let me think here. I want it to be a one way. Could probably get away with two lanes. It's underground, so I don't know why having trees underground would matter, but it still might matter to the to the people. Um, where's a good starting point? Well, actually, you know what? Let's first start with an off ramp. Yeah. Let's go like this. Slope too steep. What are you talking about? Oh, there's definitely a slope there. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, let's try this again. Let me try it from here. Okay. That's better. The one way. I can always fix that off ramp if I want. Just keep going down to here. 
and see if we can connect this up right about this might be tricky that's pretty s steep oh that worked that's kind of cool actually it's Uh, I only want you turning right. So let's go here. Uh, not priority. Change lanes. I don't get it. There we go. Ah. Oh, shit. But now, these guys have to stop here. Which I do not want. So let's fix that again. Switch traffic lights. And we'll put a priority sign. Wait. Oh, here. Okay. We'll do a... Uh... Yeah, do a yield. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this works. It sometimes takes a while for cars and such. Ah, oh, it's really getting backed up here now because there's a freaking stop sign shit under here and I can't, it won't let me manage it. it won't let me manually remove it. So I'm not really sure how to deal with it. Why won't let, let me go underground? Okay, let me try something here. Let's pause it. Oh, this is a... I did a two-lane road for whatever reason. I think that's why. Okay. Let's see if that... That might be all we needed. Oh shit, a continuous stream of pee. How refreshing. So let's watch let's watch the traffic here. So you can see it's backing up right around here. With a little bit of time, it should hopefully clear out. Now that they're not stopping. Now it's down this, you know, single lane. It's still backing up. Oh, okay. Now it's it's getting caught up. Oh, look at that. It's getting better, better, better. It's almost caught up. Ah. Such a simple fix, but it makes such a big difference. That was because I was using just a normal two-lane under here. It should have just been... And this is still two-lane. It's, it's fine here. It's just now there's no stoplight under freaking ground. That's scary. This is, it's fairly efficient how I've got it right now. It's high traffic area, but uh, there's not a really, like a lot of stopping. A lot of these people come in, they come around, and then turn left and they come into the city. Now, let's see here. Actually, a lot of these people are going to be coming from here and going down here, but I don't see a lot of people using the bypass. I don't understand that at all. Why aren't you using the bypass? There's less, like, stops and shit. Um. I wonder if I upgrade it to... Let's see here.
I don't think it's going to make any difference. Can I upgrade? Slope too steep. That wouldn't be any use. I could do like this guy. But that's not going to help. I don't want to make it an underground highway. What if I just made it all this? Oh, I saw one take it. Oh, two, three. All right. I'm just going to upgrade it all to this. See if that... Oh, shit. I just changed one. I... Didn't mean to change. My bad, boys. My bad. Yeah, okay. I don't know why even just changing the first couple did the trick. But look at you can see how many are actually wanting to go down all the way. That's pretty cool. Now, of course, it's going to be putting a lot of stress at this point. That's not so bad. Wow. That's fun. And I just like that's an interesting little space. You know? That's what I'm all, uh, what I'm all about. Okay, commercial is, well, it's a bit lower. You still have a lot for office. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm happy with this, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna cut the video now. We'll continue on. Uh, probably do... Uh, sorry, just doing a stretch. Um, a little more development here and here. I might, in the next episode, start, again, just building the basics uh, either in this area here or this area here, perhaps. Who knows? Or maybe even down here, I don't know. Um, but for sure what I'm going to be doing, I am going to be putting the commuter train station, I think, here. And then I'm also going to have, like, a bus depot here, perhaps. And uh, then the bus will shuttle people, you know, into these different areas. I think that'll be, yeah, that'll be good. And I'll somehow tie it in to the subway. I might, might take the subway and have it come down here. Maybe. Um, and then the bus would instead take, you know, people up here, take people down there, take people down there. Maybe I could still put have some bus stops in here. But I think most people would prefer to take the subway at least. Um... And then I could actually have maybe like a mini bus system in here. So people get off the subway and then they can get on a bus that'll take them, you know, down these these little streets and stuff. Oh no, we've got a first abandoned? How dare you? I didn't want you in my city anyways, little weenie. This is working really well. Look at we've reduced a lot of traffic on this side. So I'll do a bypass on the other side as well. Not now, but next episode, now that I know it's going to work um, quite well. Oh man, that's, that's really cool. I just love making spaces like this. Awesome. All right, well, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, you know what? Let's go take another quick look at the golf course. I spent so much time working on it. Look at that. Nice golden hues. Oh, that's sexy. That's really quite something, eh? And then at nighttime, nice glow. There's the moon. There's the moon. Hello, moon. I should moon the moon. <laughs> you think you'd be mad? Pretty cool, though, eh? 
A little more to fix up, I think, uh, for sure. Uh, I'd love to hear your ideas, but uh, I think it's it's awesome. I really, I really do. I think it's awesome. It's just nice. I would I, like, I would really love to play golf here in real life. I wish this was something I could do. And the the crazy thing is, this is mostly for show. People don't actually like. You don't see people come here to golf. <laughs> it's a dead island. Like people don't park here. People don't drive here. This is like it makes people happy. It's um an uh, amenity. So any houses and buildings nearby will be like, oh yeah, it's it's basically like a park, a super park. Like each hole counts as like a park. Um, which is awesome. So I guess the few houses that I end up putting here. They'll be pretty happy for many reasons. Golf course, waterfront property, nice view of the downtown without the noise. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. This is cool. Oh, man, look at that traffic. Even flow of the traffic in my town. That's fun. All right, again, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Until then, peace out.